Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why a narcissist devalues you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Why does a narcissist devalue you? Initially, the narcissist love bombed you to attract you and to lure you in, which is a phase that can last as long as it needs to in order to bring down your barriers, to make you believe that they are the one for you and that you cannot live without them. But once they know they've got you ensnared, then they move on to the next stage where they then start to devalue you, which can be a very painful and confusing thing to go through. It leaves you wondering where this wonderful person that adored you has gone, because they once appeared to be interested in you, but now they're ignoring you, or they're using other manipulative tactics, such as the push and pull or gaslighting, which makes you feel like you're losing your mind, because it comes out of nowhere they suddenly become withdrawn when initially they was the one who was chasing you but now they're devaluing you and you may think that it's because of something you did wrong or because you're not good enough you may think that because that is what they want you to believe but the truth is that it's actually an agenda they have an ulterior motive to make you feel less than them and to make you feel worthless because they want you to feel like you're nothing but it's all a strategy it's a plan of action designed to achieve an overall objective they have to devalue you because they have always known that you are better than them that's why they targeted you they don't target people who they see as being beneath them they only notice people who are better than them so from the moment they targeted you, they already knew that they were not on your level. They didn't tell you that, and you may not have thought that way about them. Because as an empath, you naturally see other people as your equals. You don't think in terms of a hierarchy or a system, but they do. They recognize that there is a pecking order because they are at the bottom of the social ladder that it's very uncomfortable down there. So they're trying to find a way to climb higher and they saw you as a stepping stone, as something that would help them to make progress towards where they're trying to go. But you weren't aware of this because you weren't seeking to improve your social positioning. You were already good. So you may have assumed that they had good intentions for you just as you had good intentions for them. Because you weren't aware of just how bad their situation is, they didn't reveal that to you. And instead, they tried to glamorize their circumstances. They tried to make it seem more desirable because they wanted to delight and attract you. So you may never have thought that you were better than them. But that's exactly how they were thinking because they have an inferiority complex which is why they were always trying to compete with you and outdo you to compensate for their consistent feelings of inadequacy. And this isn't just about money or material possessions. It's in your energy, power and consciousness, your emotions and character, your courage, resilience and determination to where you're always so joyful and optimistic and your unauthentic being and an empath because all of these positive traits that you possess really irritated and annoyed them. They set out to sabotage you because they wanted to devalue you. They wanted to make you feel pain. They gradually chipped away at you until you became weaker and less likely to succeed because they enjoy putting people down. They enjoy making people feel pain. 
they enjoy making people feel worthless because you're special you're so much better than them that they want to make you feel less than they want to make you look at yourself in a negative light and this continues even when they're moving on with their new source because they still feel negative they're still not satisfied so they have to take your light and positivity away from you which is why they might tell you that their new source is better because they don't want you to be satisfied with yourself they're envious of you so they will go out of their way to idealize the new source even though they're not really happy with them anyway they just want to hurt you they want to make you feel less than who you actually are because they know that they will never be as good as you you have so many gifts and talents and it irritates them it makes them wish they were you which is why they devalue you to make you think that what you have isn't so great and yes it may hurt you because maybe you worked hard to become the person that you are but you should not allow yourself to be controlled by it you should not let them define you because if you let a narcissist tell you who you are it's only going to stop you from progressing because they're not progressing so all they can do is hold you back to where they're at and it's all an agenda it's intended to make you feel less than and to make you feel worthless that is their ultimate goal because that's exactly how they felt by having to witness your success but you deserve better treatment than that and they know it they know you're better than anything that they are which is why some narcissists will even tell you this it's why they hoover it's why they play the victim even after they may have already tried to destroy you in order to get themselves back in their desired situation with you whatever a narcissist does there will always be a dualistic nature to it they will always have a hidden agenda an ulterior motive because no matter what they do to you you will always be greater than them so they have to start the devaluation process all over again which is why you can never let them back into your life you must focus on your healing and that all begins by you not accepting what they say about you as the truth because they are fake they're not genuine they want you to think bad things about yourself because you have so much value and it makes them very uncomfortable which is why they want to put you down to make you feel less than who you actually are because they feel inferior they feel less than you and they always knew that you were better than them initially they idealized you and they love bombed you but it didn't take them long to become disappointed because the idealization of their target is just an idealization of themselves it's an illusion of a perfect union with a perfect partner who they view as an extension of themselves until they then begin devaluing you by criticizing you or ignoring you to show disinterest in you and they may also have compared you to other people which may have confused you and it may have made you feel like you lost something based on what you had experienced in the love bombing phase because initially they may have told you you're perfect but now you're left questioning yourself you're left questioning what you've done wrong which triggers your need to please because it makes you want to figure out why things have changed but the truth is that narcissists can't love they can't develop intimacy it may have appeared as love but it was actually love bombing which is why they soon become very hostile and rageful as they shift the blame onto you and act as though you failed to become the idealized partner that they imagined you to be but despite their claims they will continue the relationship even while they're devaluing you to exact revenge and unleash their rage and to extract supply in the form of admiration because if you are an empath you will have pursued the narcissist in an attempt to re-establish what was experienced in the idealization 
or they may also continue the relationship to exploit you for your body, money or resources while drip feeding you intermittent reinforcement or push-pull. Where they go back and forth between the idealization and the devaluation, leaving you in a cycle of confusion until finally they discard you often in a humiliating manner and then they fought their new partner, which can be very painful because they become vindictive. They seek to destroy you and strip you of your dignity, often through the use of stalking, smear campaigns and threats and intimidation because they have to destroy you. Hurting you is not enough. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.